what's up guys welcome back to my channel y'all so um i'm gonna just pull some cards and i do hope that um i get a message out for y'all that resonates with you guys okay um and yeah i hope you guys are staying safe i hope you guys are staying healthy as well and yeah with that being said we're gonna just get right into the video okay enjoy right off the bat you got the queen of wands coming out You got the Ten of Swords coming out. You got the Emperor. You got the Ace of Cups coming out. Okay. The Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands. You have the Three of Wands as well. With the Devil. Okay. And you got the star at the bottom of the deck. Um, it was a little concerning, but I'm not really getting a concerning type of vibe. I honestly am getting that somebody is seriously like um, eyeing you. This could be somebody who um, you do not talk to with the Ten of Swords. Um, there was some sort of ending. This ending could have been painful as well. Um, the two of y'all, this is a vibe where um, two people could have some sort of like um, history with one another. I'm not sure like how serious it is, but somebody still has some sort of, it could definitely be a fire sign with the King of Wands now at the bottom um, of the deck. Definitely have um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy out here. You also have Gemini, Heavy Leo, and Capricorn. But somebody definitely does. It's almost like somebody is waiting to like hear from you. Especially with the Three of Wands. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords. It's like this person, they think about you a lot as well. This person literally with the higher <laughs> Somebody really wants to have some sort of stable connection with you, literally with the Ten of Cups. Um, no bad vibes from no bad vibes so far from this reading whatsoever. Um, you got Taurus energy as well. Somebody is almost like, like is uh, it gives somebody like daydreams about you, especially with the Ten of Cups at the bottom. Almost like what um a relationship or I almost want to say even a living situation. I didn't get the four of wands, but the Hierophant is almost like showing up to me as like a four somebody just wants a really, really serious type of commitment with you. Um this person, if they were like childish or childlike, um or a little bit um if you remember them as not being like very good with communication or um a little bit more on the immature side somebody is taking it upon themselves honestly to grow up and kind of like mature but i want to say they're like polarized by you like somebody is like um keeping you like in the back of their mind like even if i'm gonna be completely honest if this person entertains other people i'm i don't think is on a level where it's like this person is like you hold a spot for like i mm. This person is very serious. They're like very serious. What's the devil card? Can I get one for the devil? Let's just see something. With the ace of pentacles. I feel like with the page of cups, somebody wants a new op again with the five of swords. This person with the queen of pentacles coming out. Because even with the devil, I'm not getting, it's not like a, oh, this person is toxic. You could have deemed this person at one point in time as toxic, but it's almost like somebody is like realizing like the, the issues with like the, the, their way of thinking, their way of treating people that they are romantically beating themselves involved in. Heavy Capricorn energy with this Queen of Pentacles. This person looks at you as very stable. Even if, again, even if somebody is entertaining, because with the Queen of Wands, of course, that could be like a karma card. Um, you know, people could view it like that, but it just kind of goes back, especially with the Queen of Pentacles, like the devil. This person is very, 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 with the Five of Wands, very like infatuated, very, again, mesmerized by you. They do feel like they have to compete, though, with the Five of Wands coming out um, and with the moon trying to show its face. What's this Five of Wands? The Three of Cups. <laughs> you got the Three of Cups coming out. This person feels like they do have to... This person likes to be the winner, whether or not um, there's other people involved or not, like the, with the moon at the bottom of the deck. This person seriously... Um, 
I do feel like you have somebody who this could possibly be fairly new as well. Um, this could be a situation where the um, things didn't really get off the ground due to like a lot of secrets or a lot um, people weren't really putting their um, best foot forward or really not opening up um, like their heart space fully. And that could have been something that kind of got in the way and could have possibly um, created the ending between the two of y'all. But either way, it does seem like it could be a Cancer or a Pisces as well. Um, a tour is heavy as well, if I didn't say that already. But um, somebody definitely does want to reconcile with you. But again, they definitely, yeah, with the Three of Pentacles, they definitely feel like you could be dating other people, seeing other people. This person deems you as attractive with the Queen of uh, Cups. Very someone who is likable. Um, this person sees you as someone who could possibly be popular as well. They see you as somebody who, yeah, a lot of people can want to, like, start things up with you, gift you things, talk to you. They see you as somebody who is extremely likable, very childlike like as well you have a very um adventurous demeanor this person feels like they could go on trips with you like they feel like they'll have a lot of fun um with you almost like you are the yin to their yang or vice versa with the queen of swords coming out in the four of wands this person sees you as like marriage material they see you as somebody who is able to like hold down a household as well um somebody who can really create some sort of structure you could be some sort of judge when this person feels like you are i feel like i always say this like you're, you're very smart but to switch it up a little bit this person feels like you could work as like a good like lawyer or like politician like somebody who you have a lot of power in your voice your words um they would look at you as a good like father figure or mother figure as well like in a household they feel like you would have all the control they would just be there kind of like playing the part of it but this person is almost like if say for instance i don't know kids get in trouble this person kind of feels like you would be that kind of like the one to be telling them like you know you shouldn't be doing this and this and that. like they would be the ones like i'm gonna go tell your mom or i'm gonna go i'm gonna go tell your dad they look at you as a person that they would they would come to to kind of discipline the kids because they feel like you would do it with like love with the queen of cups like i don't know this person thinks this person really I don't know, with the magician and the will of fortune they're definitely manifesting some sort of commitment some sort of reconciliation between the two of y'all especially if this person did um have a third party there could be a thing where this third party is coming to some sort of end um this third party could constantly want to reconcile with this person it does seem like this person is possibly putting that could be where that harsh ending is kind of coming from um yeah there could have been some sort of like back and forth with this person in the third party or whatever the case may be with the high priest is definitely some mistress energy some sort of hidden energy like this person finally is um possibly letting go of this third party it could be a pisces and it doesn't have to be um romantic it could also be platonic as well um but either way it was somebody possibly secretly interfering yeah with the nine of wands the will of fortune and the empress interfering on um your connection and how this person kind of like sees you as well because you came out as the empress energy another match with the king of swords this person sees you as a match with the king of cups this is a lot of energy this person could even know people who are also very attracted to you um could be an air sign libra aquarius gemini heavy libra heavy taurus or cancer pisces scorpio heavy pisces this person could know people who are very attracted to you and they are actually a little they don't like that yeah with the hermit card this person doesn't like they are ghosting third parties with the ten of wands could be a little hard because i feel like this person definitely could have pillow talk with these people yeah with the two of wands and the strength they could have like um told these people what they almost like wanted to hear to keep them like around this person the vibe is almost like this person got themselves kind of like in a pickle with the seven of cups and the ten of uh, wands right here i want to show you all so nobody be like oh, look. but yeah heavy leo and virgo energy <laughs> They could be like going on a blocking spree with the nine of cups or this is you somebody is, is, is somebody is ghosting someone like yeah with the seven of swords somebody is but they're fine with it like i feel like this person has hit a point where they can't yes with the chariot in the world this person can't stay if this is like a separation type of thing of course it takes what resonates but somebody has a, a person like really like yeah with the three of swords they're tired of acting like they don't like you yeah with the ten of wands or wanting to be with you could be a cancer again could be a leo taurus aquarius and or scorpio as well with this world card with the seven of wands this person with the page of wands and the 
this person with the hangman with the ten of wands the seven of wands the page of wands and the eight of wands it's like this person stops themselves from like rushing it they want to clean up their act i'm really getting it like really really strongly this person kind of especially if they you you guys had a real real bad rough patch where people was involved whether it was romantically and or friends um this person does not they're not looking for that anymore this person could have even um what is it like they could have judged you before even really getting to know you um this person could have put you through something where they could have did this to other people that they were like with like um and they realized that you were actually not the same as these past people and they actually did grow fond of you enough to where it's kind of like you are changing someone as well but i want to say with like love like this person stops themselves from rushing in this person could have been wow with the three of swords they're dealing with a lot of hurt with the three of swords the five of swords and the temperance this person is really like healing with the six of cups healing past wounds as well could even be childhood wounds could be a sagittarius with the six of swords this person is somebody who's being guided to another person with the ten of cups with the king of pentacles could be a capricorn Taurus and or um wow capricorn Taurus, virgo and or uh, leo but something was exposed i want to say this person is getting ready to almost expose exactly how they feel for you as well they want to build somebody wants to like honestly build like a a kingdom with you like they, they want to be like a power couple i'm getting like barack and michelle obama you know that's for me but a real genuine like power couple something that's strong something that's stable something that's also very creative that was like a little rhyme <laughs> they are sexually attracted to you as well yes with the four of signs they four of signs the four of swords um they do think about you a lot sexually with the ten of pentacles yeah and the death could be a scorpio what's this death energy with the eight of cups and the nine of sources yeah this person regrets walking away from you dead in a situation yeah this person with the five of cups this person is i almost want to say in turmoil but i feel like the turmoil is thinking about like not being able to reconnect with you um but i think right now this person's like motive is like cleaning things up so that way when they come towards you it's it's almost like you're seeing a new person with the seven of cups and it's almost like you will feel like this person is you would have to really read this person out i'm not really getting a bad type of vibe but i do feel like especially with the seven of cups there will be some sort of like confusion almost because i feel like there will be some sort of doubt um but try not to lean more towards like the pain this person caused you um and that's easier said than done. And I'm not trying to take away nothing that happened to anybody. You know, you move at the pace that is most suitable and comfortable for you. Um, seriously. Uh, yeah. Like, pain could be a bitch. I know. But um, I feel like somebody definitely is trying to really change for another person out of love with the two of swords. I do feel like it's a struggle with the star to heal, whatever this is. But somebody, yeah, with the moon, somebody definitely wants to tell you exactly how they feel with the lover's card. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, and, and or a Gemini. Um, you could definitely be some sort of teacher. You have definitely taught this person a lot of lessons as well. I want to say how it feels to be compassionate with the King of Wands. Could definitely be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Somebody def de definitely, definitely um, and was or and is facing judgment enough to make some sort of positive movement forward with the Knight of Swords even to have a conversation with the knight of pentacles this person could be moving slow because they're really trying to think about what they want this person views you as somebody who could basically read minds with the fool like yeah with the star and the tower this person will be in so much regret if they will like if they won't be able to heal whatever this is even if i feel like i feel like this person will even settle the two of y'all were even front like that will be the last thing i feel like this person wants but i feel like this person could be an aquarius heavy aquarius with the taurus the taurus the tower and the star coming out but um yeah i feel like they would be so devastated if they were not able with the two of pentacles and the hangman to really press something forward they're tired of um being uncertain they're tired of like questioning things this person they want things to really start moving forward with the seven of pentacles i feel like the moment you left with the two of cups this person feels like they like lost a soulmate or somebody who really understood them gets them um yeah they feel like they juggled a soulmate with the knight of wands still is very passionate about you though with the fool
I hope I'm not talking the circles with the four of pentacles. Somebody's really holding on to you guys. Um, of course, you take whatever resonates. Um, whatever message definitely fits with the four of cups and the justice. Yeah, seriously, with the fool. This person is with the ace of swords. They're thinking about coming towards you, um, taking some sort of leap of faith. This person definitely is juggling the idea of coming towards you or not, only because they don't know exactly how you will perceive them, especially if they come back brand new. It's like this person, that's the thing. Like if this person really does come back brand new, I feel like that's what's going to make, like hurt them 10 times more almost because it's like, it's going to become a thing where this person is going to start to wish they met you before, like after this changed happened, like, you know, this person doesn't want to be like a lesson to you. They don't want to be a lesson to you because you were definitely a lesson to them, but in, in a very positive way where I feel like this person doesn't want to be a negative lesson on your side, though. Like this person doesn't want to be looked at as somebody who you had to get away from in order to progress, even if that was the case or not. This person's intention is to come back um, almost like a real separation, like two people separating to really grow. It's like that's really what's on this person's mind. They're not trying to really improve on their own life for it to be some sort of ending with you. It was kind of like a thing, almost like an unspoken word, again, with this person thinking you can read their mind. Because <laughs> um, you cannot even know that. You cannot even be aware of this. But um, guys, that was y'all's reading. Um, I do hope that it resonates for whoever needs to hear this. And I hope you can take the messages and use them to the best of your ability. Um, until next time, guys, continue to stay safe. Continue to stay prayed up, blessed up, however have you. And until next time, bye.